Welcome back everyone to the series, and as you've read in the title, today I will be discussing how Izzy can win. Now there's a major thing to talk about with Izzy. Izzy never actually plays the game. She never forms alliances, it's debatable whether she does her best in every challenge, and it's just the embodiment of chaos wherever she goes. But that also is one of her greatest strengths in a way. If we take a popular theory into account that all of this is intentional, there is a high chance she wins Total Drama Island if she would just form connections. And in theory, she has all the ones she needs and could have easily made it farther if she just would have done that, but she doesn't and that's why she leaves in 7th place. Now she is technically our first merge contestant, as her getting chased off in the 8th episode is probably going to happen every time unless a character has an RPG they just have been waiting to use. So this episode will be a lot shorter as a result, which after doing Tyler's I'm not exactly mad about. So let's go into what Izzy can do here in episode 20 as every single thing remains the same up to this point and if I'm smart I'll just start on that instead of scrambling to fit everything into place but that could actually be a fun game and I'm stalling a bit to give myself a bit more time. But time is up so episode 20 and this is the perfect opportunity to get rid of Heather. Now I feel like everybody looks past this, but Heather has no immunity in this episode and also a majority of these people either hate or are neutral towards Heather. So Izzy would just need to talk to Owen to vote off Heather, talk to Lashana about voting off Heather, and then talk to Gwen about voting off Heather and she is gone. And if the theory that Izzy does all of this intentionally is true, she is a master manipulator already, so she would know how much Lashana and Gwen hate Heather, allowing her to be the mastermind she would be in World Tour until it all comes crashing down. Episode 21 and the only change here would be Izzy and Owen being on a team, and if you truly believe these two people would win the totem assembling challenge, you are a different breed. Like, I could see Gwen and Jeff winning before Owen and Izzy in that particular challenge, though Izzy and Owen would be the most fun parts of it. And now here is what is actually hard here. If they don't have immunity, then there is no actual reason for Lashana not to vote Izzy compared to Jeff. But if we want to be as canon as possible, everybody here is really uncharacteristically rude here and votes Jeff off just because he's nice, like in canon. Episode 22 and Lashana gets robbed here since it's so funny how everybody keeps saying Lashana when they don't want to say Lashana and totally hasn't made any long-lasting psychological damage due to the subversion being so terrible when this is the perfect narrative end to Heather. Episode 24 and Izzy and Gwen are on a team while Duncan and Owen are on another and yes this is just to avoid having Izzy and Owen on a team as even though those two are thematically the best together I don't want to play with that cursed team because them together either go really good or really bad with no one between. With that being said, Gwen and Izzy will be able to make it back in the nick of time as Owen tackles Chef for some sticky buns, Duncan gets sent out again. Episode 25, and this is fun, as Izzy would probably eliminate herself here, but if we're being nice to ourselves, we could just go with Gwen getting eliminated since she has lost before in episode 15. Owen quits over the ice cream brain freeze, which feels like a rigged challenge to be honest, and Izzy is the only person to eliminate her herself by not stopping after the challenge is over. So if Izzy can just avoid any Poison Ivy spa treatment, she will make it to the end even better than Owen did in canon. I mean, if Izzy gets the challenge to eat grape jelly out of Owen's belly button, Izzy is going to town on that. So yeah, Gwen, unfortunately you're just matched up with two people who just are crazier than you. And in the finale, Izzy stomps Owen. By the time Owen is at the second challenge, Izzy is done with the entire thing. As long as she doesn't get distracted, which I could easily see her doing, but yeah, this is the quickest episode only because of the fact that the only thing she really is missing is a social game, which this late in the challenge doesn't mean much. All she has to do is ask to vote for the obviously better choice and also get someone besides herself voted off in the next episode and she's in the final four easy. And by that point, it comes down to more of who's got the will to stay in instead of who lucks out and gets immunity. So with that, thank you all for watching, make the day yours, and I'll be back soon with our next contestant, Cody.